Here at UCSF, we're absolutely convinced that we have the best treatment strategy for TRAP. And the reason why we're absolutely convinced is twofold. One is, is that our results bear it out. We have the best results in the literature. The second reason is, is that with respect to you, we can do this with the least intervention to you. So we do an ultrasound at presentation and then as a group discuss the appropriateness of an intervention. In TRAP, there's only one potentially viable fetus who's at risk during the pregnancy because of its high flow state, sending blood to the, um, the, it's the co-twin mass of tissue. Our um, experience over the last few years has been that if we can safely obliterate blood flow to that mass of tissue in a minim minimally invasive, effective way, that bodes best. We put in a single needle, and using ultrasound guidance, we correct the problem by stopping the blood flow to the abnormal twin. And this lets the normal twin need to only beat for one as opposed to two. And this greatly increases survival for the normal twin. And following that intervention, we use um, ultrasound assessment um, immediately post-procedure and then cut back to the kind of usual occasional ultrasound to uh, monitor the, the developing fetus. The one additional step we offer is after this intervention, we would sometimes offer a fetal MR to look at the brain of the, of the living twin.